Okay, so the next tool we are going to talk about is the extrude tool. So we're going to go up to create, and we are going to make a box. Okay, T for move, we'll just put that down around there. Okay, so basically what the extrude tool does Go to multiply under extend, click on extrude. Okay. Um, oh, sorry, before we do that, um, we need to select a polygon or polygons first. Okay, so we just select one just to get started. Click on extrude. Now let's go over to this window over here. So basically, if I want to extrude this polygon up, I just left click and drag up. Now if I go into the Merrick panel right now, notice I have four sides selected. I was fooling around with it earlier. Usually the default is one. Okay, so let's uh, hit the space bar and let's click undo. We'll start over again. Okay, we'll hit the extrude and it bevels out one poly, or, or bevels out from the one poly. Now notice something looks strange, it's actually sort of inside out. Um, there's a reason for that. This is based off of uh, the surface normal in which way it is facing. The extrude tool um, over the years is is, is very well used is up uh, is used quite a bit for logos so if say you trace out a logo uh, with the pen tool or the point you know the points uh, the points tools uh, here points or pen tool and then you click extrude so let's go control Z to undo so if we go right now, the polygons are facing the wrong way. Okay? If I select them, all the surface normals are facing inside. Let's go and do. Now, if I flip this polygon, hit the F key and flip it, and have it facing the inside, and now if I go extrude, now it's no longer inside out. Okay, and I just want to check something here. Notice the one thing it does though is it leaves a polygon on the inside of the object. Okay, so if you don't need this polygon on the inside of the object, it's best to just click delete and kill it. Uh, but it won't ruin your object, so don't panic, okay? Um, there are other tools that, uh, that are better used for uh, making sure that there's no geometry on the inside. Now, um, let me see here. Just to give you an example of what I was talking about with regards to extrude when making uh, logos, let's... Let's maybe type some text. Let's go. And that's a very ugly font for what we're trying to show here. Whoops. Let's uh sorry, let's kill this. And, sorry, I'm going to delete that, put this down, let's, just want to find something a little thicker, a little fatter, these are like really skinny, skinny fonts, I don't, ah, perfect, okay. Um, let's make it facing the z-axis. 
Okay. So let's put that down here. Let's hit, whoops. Undo. Sorry, kids. Hit redo. If you hit the A key while it's still in text mode, it will uh, it will drop another A down. And if I hit N again, <laughs> for numeric, it will pop back up. Let's uh, let's drop the tool again. Let's hit delete, and let's hit numeric. So I have our numeric panel up. Hit the text. Okay, we got our atom thing, our atom uh, text. Let's click the space bar. Oh, sorry. Let's uh, sorry. Deselect the text tool. Space bar may have just made a space. Um, let's bring that down. Let's center this up. Okay. And now we're going to make this 3D because right now it's only 2D text. It still is polygons, but they're flat. There's no depth to them. So we are going to go over to uh, blah, 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 extrude. And in the top view, we're just going to drag this out. Okay. You know, and you can make it as long as you want you can whoops you can skew it off to the side if you want okay there are no there is no rules but if you go this way look what happens it's inside out so basically it's based off of where the surface normal is facing on the original polygons okay so let's go undo now, just so you know what I'm talking about, that was the whole reason why I had this example. Notice that the surface normals, those yellow dotted lines, are facing the front of the polys, the part that you can see. In the back, you can't see the polys because the surface normals are facing the other way. Okay? So, we basically, when we use the extrude tool, we need to drag out in the opposite direction of the surface normals. Otherwise, if we drag the wrong way, our mesh turns inside out. Although that can be fixed, okay, but it's just sort of a pain in the butt. So say for some reason you, um, you weren't paying attention when you did your extrude you didn't do it the proper way like I just showed you say for some reason you weren't looking in your perspective window you don't feel like going back to uh, and re redoing it over again or say someone sends you text like this that's backwards the surface normals are, are all messed up now right now if I hit the flip key that looks great okay so per, yeah, that in this situation that worked out. All I had to do is press F for flip. Okay. Sometimes you have to go in and actually select the polygons that uh, that are are causing the actual problem. Okay. So let's uh, let's undo this. Go back to that. Go back to Adam. Um, now let's pop up the numeric panel. Let's go to extrude. Let's bring it out. Now once again we have this sides feature here. Okay. So basically it's more like the amount of segments. If you notice, oops, <clears throat> sorry. On the fly, see how it's dividing that up? It's making more segments. Okay. And there's numerous things you can do with this. This is a, just me fooling around with uh, text. This could be done on objects as well. It's space bar. And I could grab this back end here. Okay, let's zoom out. 
Let's roll this up. And I could do something like hit the H key for stretch. And do something whacked out like that. T for move. See how things are kind of stretched out. What might make it a little cooler is if I grab this section here. Let's go A for fit. And that might make it look more neat, but there's all different things that you can do. There's different reasons why you would add uh, you would add segments. Okay, so uh, you could do something strange. You could make the letters the the first set of polys. You could make them red, and then the uh, the rest of them could be you know chrome steel in the back, or the whole thing could be chrome. But there's a lot of different things. Uh, different looks and different reasons that you, like I said, things that you can do with this. So don't think that you're locked down into any set rules or anything like that. But anyways, this is just an example of uh, how this tool works. So once again, it's the same thing. If we have a, if we have a box and we're just going back to a basic shape here, if you want to extrude this thing out, Remember, if you just go extrude, okay, that extrusion will be inside out. Okay, undo, hit F to flip the poly. Now when you extrude it out, nothing's flipped inside out. Undo. Remember, the you have to go in the opposite direction of the surface normal in order for this to work properly. Okay, but once again, remember there is a hidden polygon inside of here. Okay, when you're rendering this in the layout, it's not going to see it. So just remember it's there and click delete and it's gone. Now I don't believe, I don't believe, no, there's no, in these segments, it doesn't make an extra polygon. It's just that the, um, the original face that you extruded from, it leaves this polygon in here. So like I said, just delete it. Otherwise, you never know. It could cause, possibly cause render errors, okay, around the, the region of that poly. Um, it all depends. But anyways, it's always best to get rid of hidden geometry um, inside of your, your objects. Okay, so we're moving on to the next tool.